where it is consulate for Team right. Empire. They were left with the choice, and they won't take Rogue That's to Coast. I, can't, I don't think this is going to inspire an Amaru play, but you never know. I don't know, man. Like, you know, I'm... Right. Oh, oh, that was not a great flashbang, but still, Scyther is tagged very low on HP. And another one. Oh, Hicks! All okay. right. Good start. They dropped them. Aces gets one more. They're just peeking around the corner one by one. Peekaboo. This, this is really Rogue just trying to set the pace for this. Uh, there goes Joystick as well. It's down to Shotgun on the floor. There's one more from Corey. He's going for the quick reload. Don't underestimate the super shorty. Dan's low on HP. He might be a distance, but he actually wins it. He gets a 3k. He might be impacting out. He's checking. And he doesn't see anybody downstairs. This is the maestro. I see him on the other side. Those holes work both ways. And it's rips to find the last shot. Rogue playing around with their food. Not sure if he expects Corey, though, to be inside of the press room. Can walk in at any point in time, and that's exactly the play. Rips will find one. And all the commotion. There's the Mira in there. It is Corey correcting his aim as he was close to hitting a teammate. At least that's what you'd expect. And gets the ash in the end. Little time left. The Habana. Oh, short on top. Oh, no, Hicks. The mistakes. Massive mistakes there from... Hicks, and there's the Maestro from behind. He'll find one kill. Can you deny the Diffuser? No, nope. it's already been set. And Wise is close to finding the kill. He doesn't have any utility to fire against this one player behind the bomb chassis, but he'll be able to get him regardless. Grips is one, and Kajeka swings wide to find one more Rice rotating through. And in the lobby, there you go. And not get grenaded. He's burning a ton of utility. He also has, oh, there we go. Finally, Empire getting a good kill that they needed. Well, nine seconds left to make this happen. Doesn't look like this is going to be possible. You can see Denial here on Spiral Stairs. Rise taking up the spot here of Smoke inside meeting. He's going to get pushed, but nope. Pushing back. Rips takes down Joystick, but Dan gets Corey in the meantime. Oh! Scyther gets one traded on Shepard from Rips. Fire there to Deny. Pretty much nothing. Is He's not going to be trying to get across. He's going to be looking for the angle. There we go. Nice peek by Dan. Possible peek out from Hicks. He's just waiting for the right moment, the right call out. There we go. Nice fireball. Scyther's been doing a great job with the Capitao. But Dan's been finding the kills. Ace is again one of the first to die. He's really just not been accomplishing a whole lot despite being, you know, this, this groundbreaking player. But Dan finding one more before being traded off by Hicks. Now barbed wire being cleared. There we go, clearing pipes. Nice job by Scyther. That was the important kill they needed to make this play happen. Still has smoke bolt, so he's going to start to use this chart to cover the mirror windows. And there's the kill from Corey, though, that's now going to put all the onus into him. And just not any angles left for him to play. Corey, once again, crushing the end of the round on defense of Garage. They need to clear that top floor next time. Corey, twice now, has been able to close out South the round. Fast on that. Now there's only 30 seconds left, and not a whole lot happening for Empire. At least Hicks gets down to finally finish off. Kajeka gets one. Trade it back. Joystick at Scyther to finish it off. Empire. Just the last 30 seconds there, finding every single kill they needed. Maybe Rogue got bored. I don't know. They seem to get a bit out of position. Shepard and the rest of the squad are holding on to the top floor. In the meantime, awaiting Joystick's return. The Thermite miss missing every th single shot. But what is it? You got the Alva. 22 more bullets left. They spring around the corner here. Zrips will finally find Scyther. Just trying to bait out the player. 16 seconds left to work with. Finally makes... Oh, all the way down. That's oh. going to hurt things. That is that is round over in my mind here. He's not going to win these fights the next seven seconds unless Empire throws. A little bit of pre-fire, but it's pretty much over. He's going to go for the plan just to delay things before it's 0, zero. Tries to bait it out and gets nothing for it. Yeah, he also lost... Uh, Ace has lost both of his drones very early as well, which was not a great start. But hey, he's getting a kill with the AK-12, as you mentioned. Traded back by Joystick, though. He's very low health now. His job, which they are also playing. Firebolt actually working against him. Oh, no. He directly into it. Corey finds the kill on a Joystick in the meantime to finish that off. And it is now a 3v3, along with a nice uh, thick operator here of the Alda Caring Maestro, who is now low on health. Rips gets Shepard in the meantime. Rise falls immediately after due to a Goyo shield. Scyther gets the kill. And it's now down to Karzeka and Scyther versus Rips who does at least a little bit of damage, drops Karjeka down to the ground, doesn't necessarily know he's finished him off, so he's looking for the body. In the meantime, though, that's going to be a nice distraction. Doesn't oh. work, though. Nicely done. Rips! The plays! So good! And that's only going to continue to hurt Empire's Lance chance. But the, here's the flank. Rips and Corey trying to go around from behind the cafeteria. Was read here by Shepard, who's able to stop it a little bit. Smoke Bolt does come out from Capitao. Does a little bit of work in helping Hicks get around the corner. Only to die to Scyther's Alda. 
A lot of plays here coming around, rotating into security office. Joystick trying to hold it off, but at the end of the day, time wins out. Habana holes, be damned, then Joystick will find another one. Rise at 60 HP, he's gotta be counting his stars right now. And uh, we saw Aces again losing his drones early, so I can imagine a lot of the other players' drones, which are not indicated when they're dead, are probably also gone. And there's a nice kill and a finish from Scyther. So Joystick and Scyther also doing a lot of work. I, uh, I wish I had stats in front of me real time, but I think Scyther has been doing pretty well this matchup as well. Long enough to be able to get someone across the way to start planting at the side of the circle desk. A nice flank attempt, but Scyther reads into it. Rips goes down. Where's Rise? He dropped all the way down and now he's walking back up. There's a lot of possibilities here. Here's the Nitro out. And it should connect. Oh, shot in the midair. What? Great play from Hicks. Even with one drone left. <laughs> How did you guys gonna find a kill on a rise? Little information left here in this 1v2. He knows this one in bathroom and they might be splitting to run at the top. There's one diving out of the window. Is there anybody above him? He needs those seven seconds. Hicks gonna get the 3k. One out to Kajeka. Last is Shepard, and he's gonna lose the gunfight. No time left at the end there. Shepard taking a lot of damage there from an impact sent the way to from the Zofia. Corey's already in on site, and he's already dead. Kajeka got him. Ace is down as well. Scyther, good plays there with the Alda. You see the smoke around the corner. You're trying to shoot that canister, and Hicks is going to find Dan in the meantime off in the rotation through yellow stairs. And they're just firing away, but there's no one to be found. Scyther with a 2k and leaving only one in. Scyther, the 3k on the rips, and that's it. GG, well played. Rogue did not have to play hard at all for this one. And, you know, Empire still in the fight. 7-5, clawing this victory from the hands of Rogue means that Empire are still in the running for number two in UPL. But also, G2 are still in the running. They can and still win their game. Actually, I think... Uh, so he's not going to be jumping into the room at any point. Okay, yeah, fair but enough. He, he's screaming in the other room, uh, for sure. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joystick, congratulations today. Again, Team Empire, you guys are still in the running for number two in in EU. It, it can happen. It, it just depends on what happens later on with the matchup with, with G2. There's, you know, some differentials to look at, rounds, etc. Uh, yep. In the end, you came back in this matchup against Rogue. Let's be honest, Rogue didn't really have anything to lose in this game. Were you expecting something funny to come out from them? Yeah, no, and of course we know that uh, this match may be not be serious, as always, because they are on the first place already, and they don't lose, they not lose anything, but uh, they try some different stuff, like with the fuse, and it, it was really scary in the last round, they are fusing us, and I don't know, my heart was beating so hard because yeah. I was like below this fuse, and I, I have half HP, yeah, it, it was really scary, but... Mm, I don't think for them it was really funny much. I think they play serious, so... Do you we think just, though... Uh, we have no pressure because we don't lose anything too, so... Fair enough. It, yeah. I mean, do, do you think the fuse was a conscious pick? Like, do you think that he actually has space in PL? Because we pretty much never see the operator get played. Are there any alterations or the way that he is now that would make him, in your opinion, a pro league viable operator? Yeah, I think he's good because right now he has really good damage and he, better than before. And I, I think, yes, it's pretty good right now. All right. Well, that said, um, this is the last time we'll see you this uh, this season, Toystick. And it ended on a victory, which is always a good thing for any team. But is there anything you'd like to say to the Team Empire fans that supported you through these past six months that were definitely not as easy as anybody would have thought for the squad? Of course, as always, we love you all, guys. You are the best. And yeah, that's all. I don't know what to say anymore. We love you. Right. Yeah, you beautiful joystick. It's it's tons of love. That's for sure.